there it's Mitzi welcome to my channel today I have book mail I'm so excited to share this I have a package that I received a big box that came from England and I'm so excited thank you to Janet Janet and I have become friends since the beginning of my channel she has been supporting me so first off Thank you to Janet for always being a commenter. She was a subscriber from the beginning and she has really encouraged me from the beginning when I had very few views uh, to keep going. So thank you to Janet for that. She participated in the Nancy Drew read along that I had and she made it, she just upped our game on Nancy Drew. She was the perfect buddy reader for that. So in our group, she was always uh, letting us know about different things about the Nancy Drew books because she has been collecting them forever. And I just, I just treasure our friendship because she is just such a lifelong reader like me and she loves a lot of the same things that I do and she just adds a lot to our conversation. So thank you to Janet, first of all, for being such a great participant in the Nancy Drew group read because she did better than I did as the leader. <laughs> She really held that group together. So thank you for that, Janet. And she also sent me this big package. So I'm excited about it. The first thing I found uh, in the package was this beautiful card, first of all, with these little teapots on it. I was really excited to get that because it's cozy. And it says, the secret to a well-balanced life is a cup of tea in one hand and a biscuit in the other. And there's something, uh, there is a little joke about the biscuits in this because as we were reading Nancy Drew, uh, we talked about biscuits and how, you know, my biscuits in the South are something totally different than what biscuit means in other places. And so that that's a little uh, humor there about biscuits. And so that just warmed my heart uh, that she sent that. And we, we have a little inside joke. You know, when you have inside jokes with other people, they are truly friends. I just want to tell you, you just have these little connections. And she wrote me a beautiful card. And then she sent me these postcards, gorgeous postcards. And they all have these little clues for the books and I just love that too because of the Nancy Drew and the mystery so she went through a lot of trouble so what I did was I read through the clues already and I'm not gonna read that here because it'll take too much time but then I wanted to share with you something else she had in this package and it's these cards y'all I love these I love these this one is the Haunted Showboat and it's the covers isn't that wonderful? So I have that one. And then I have the mystery at Lilac Inn. I love that one. And they have the envelopes with them too. Uh, the mystery of the fire dragon. Look at that. These are wonderful. And then one more. The secret of the golden pavilion. I don't know where she found these. But let me tell you, Janet's been collecting Nancy Drew stuff forever. And so, uh, thank you to, to Janet for all of these wonderful gifts. So, I'm going to unwrap them because she, she also individually wrapped them. And they're all wrapped differently in beautiful paper. So, here's the first one. And again, she left me some clues. But I read those and then I'm doing this uh, just for the sake of time. So, here we go with the first one. I am so excited. Oh my goodness. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. The Mystery of the Tolling Bell. This has got to be an old, old one. Okay. And she's told me some that she said in the, in the uh, clues, but I can't even remember which one she said because I read the clues the other day. I haven't read those lately. So that's this one, and it is the original dust jacket on it. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, this is the next one. Beautiful again on the wrap. Janet, you just outdid yourself with all the wrapping too. The wrapping on these, I wish you could see this in person, how beautiful she did with the wrapping paper on every single book. And there's a lot of books in here. So bear with me as I try to open. <gasps> no way. No no way. 450 from Pat Y'all. I mean, my heart's racing. 
My heart is racing. Janet! Janet! Oh, this is beautiful! Look at how her name is on there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and there's a, a um, bookmark inside. I don't know if you meant to put the bookmark, but I love it. Oh, my goodness. What a treasure. Janet! Janet! Already! That's all you had to send! What else is in this box? Oh, this is beautiful. Butterflies. I love butterflies. I know I talk about birds, but I love butterflies too. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to bear these. <laughs> oh my goodness. The message in the hollow oak. Oh my goodness. Y'all. Y'all know how I love these vintage books. I cannot stand it. Wow, this one's in great shape, too. Oh, my goodness. Janet, we're going to have to read some more uh, Nancy together. That's just what's going to happen. Okay, here's another one. So beautiful wrapping again. I'm tearing the paper. I like to save it, but I'm for the sake of time, I'm tearing it. Oh, my goodness. The Quest of the Missing Map. Another Nancy Drew. These are old. Oh, this one's got a bookmark, too. Girl, what in the world? What in the world? You are amazing. Uh, I love her hair on this one. <laughs> I love that. I know we've had discussions about Nancy Drew and the way that they illustrate her in some is just so funny. Sometimes so funny. Oh, this is pretty. I like the ribbon. Oh my goodness. I feel like a kid at Christmas. I think I'm more excited than a kid at Christmas because <laughs> I'm just shocked. I am just shocked. She also talked about some of these books that uh, she was giving me were because she didn't like those. So that's funny too. But I haven't read them, so I want them. And so far, I have not had gotten any of these. The Mystery at the Ski Jump. Oh, I love that. I love it. Girl, this is, I mean... These all have these dust jackets on it. I am shocked. What in the world? Okay. And the thing is, Janet lives in England. I think that it's a lot harder to find Nancy Drew in England than it is over here in the States. So how she was able to collect these is beyond me. I, Y'all, I know I keep saying it, but what in the world? Oh my goodness. Another Agatha Christie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't even get it open. This one is Hickory. I don't have Hickory Dickory Dock in any. I don't think I have it at all. Oh. Oh my goodness. Y'all, look at that. I know my light's in the way. Let's see if I can get the. I love the way this is. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous. I never see these in thrift stores. Ever. I don't see these in antique stores. These are gorgeous. What in the world? Oh, I love this. Look at the, the wrapping. Look at that. Oh, I love this. I think I'm going to cut some of these birds out. These are pretty. And blue's my favorite color. So that blue background just... See if I can do this without hurting the birds. Because I want to cut some of them out make a little bookmark out of it. Although she gave me bookmarks too. Girl. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just tore that. Okay, let's see. The Little House by Philippa Gregory. Is that how you say it? Philippa? Is that how you say it? Or is it Philippa? Philippa sounds right. Um, I have not read any by this author. But I do want to because I've heard that this was an author for me. So, thank you. I'll give this a try. Okay. Alright, this is pretty. It's got, um, look at that. Little, it's a bookshelf. Can you see it? So, she has beautiful wrapping. I tell you what, she must outdo herself for her friends around town. Because, my goodness gracious, this is amazing. Right. The clue of the... Oh, I love the look of this. 
the clue of the dancing puppet. Look at that. I don't think I have any of these. What number is that? 39. Nope. I know I don't have that one. I like the little, can you see the little puppet? Don't have that either. I don't have any of these. Goodness, at the gorgeous wrap. You took so much time. Thank you, Janet. Thank you so much. The Clue of the Leaning Chimney. I like her outfit on that one. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. It's simple. I love that. Okay. Don't have these. Then I have... Oh, this is pretty. Look at the um, ribbon on that one. Can you see the... Isn't that pretty? All this pretty wrapping. I do not do this. I, I need to learn from you guys because when y'all wrap things, y'all just make it so pretty. I need to up my game in my wrapping. Maybe this Christmas my family will be surprised <laughs> and I'll wrap better <laughs> this year because I, I do the same thing every time. Okay, this is the sign of the twisted candles. Now this, do I have this? Yes, nine, but I do not have this cover, and I think that was one of the clues on the, oh, there's some gift wrap still on the back. I think that was one of the clues on her postcards. No, I do not have this one. I do not have that cover, and that's interesting. That's another thing that Janet has uh, shared with us about the different covers, uh, which ones are rare, and the, then even these uh, end papers. There's, um, different end papers and, and, you know, which ones are rare and which ones are more popular. She knows all of that. So if you need uh, help finding some Nancy Drews, you need to contact Janet because she knows all about it. Okay. And then the bottom is a beautiful gift bag with hummingbirds on it. And then we also have uh, these from some wrapping paper also and things in the bottom. And then we have one more gift. This says T for two on the front of it. T for two. Let's see what this is. the world oh how cute how cute this is a little it's, it has Agatha Christie Crooked House which is a favorite I love Agatha Christie Crooked the Crooked House and this is just a little notebook there's blank pages oh now I gotta think about what to use this for Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't even know if I want to write in it. It's so pretty. Y'all give me some ideas on something really special that I could put in this notebook. Let me know. Give me some um, ideas for that. So those are all the books from um, Janet. Thank you so much to Janet for all these wonderful books. You are amazing. You outdid yourself. You're absolutely amazing amazing okay so i have something else i want to share too hold on just a second okay so i went to pick up a book and there was a yellow jacket flying around in here and i didn't realize it so i had to go get the fly swatter so it took me a minute to then remember what i was doing okay so um a couple of things i received some other book mail one was a package of some other nancy drew books but that was uh, from someone who wanted to remain anonymous. So I didn't share those. But you know who you are. And I want to thank you for sending those books to me. And I don't think any or any. I'm, well, these are so different because Janet has these dust cut jackets and all. Uh, the ones that were sent to me were those matte ones that I've been collecting. So thank you to Janet as well as the other person who has uh, helped me out with my Nancy Drew collection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them all together because I'm so excited. And I am going to share a uh, video of all my Nancy Drew, all the Nancy Drews that I now have. Because why not? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just so excited about it. I need to do the same thing about uh, Agatha Christie now, too. Have I shared an Agatha Christie collection? I don't know if I have, but I'm so excited. I just That's why I have this channel, so I can share those things with you. 
But then I also received a book from Glenda. Glenda has also been one of my uh, subscribers from the beginning and she's really uh, supported me a lot. And we will chat from time to time and I love that about Glenda. She doesn't live too far from me actually. She lives in North Carolina. And so Glenda thought of me uh, one day when she saw this book. It's called The Heroine's Bookshelf. Life Lessons from Jane Austen to Laura Ingalls Wilder. And she knew that it would be a book that I would want to read. And yes, this is perfect. So I'm putting this on my nightstand. And I think what I'm going to do, there is a chapter in here. Um, let me see which one it is. Uh, chapter 3 is Happiness. Anne Shirley in Anne of Green Gables by Lucy Maud Montgomery. So I thought that's perfect because I'm about to start the more Montgomery challenge. So I'll definitely read that chapter uh, during November. But I'm going to keep this on my nightstand and just read through it as I'm inspired by these different authors. So thank you to Glenda for sending me, me this one. Thank you to the anonymous donor of all of the other uh, Nancy Drews. And thank you, Janet, for taking so much time to wrap these, to send me the beautiful card. I mean, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Uh, so thank you to all of you who just, I don't know why. I just don't know why uh, you uh, send me all these wonderful things. But I love every single one of you. I just, I, I truly do. And this channel is just such a special community. So thank you uh, to, to Janet. To the other anonymous donor and to Glenda for sending me this book. Thank you so much for subscribing. I don't ask for subscriptions when I'm uh, for subscribers. When I, you know, they have this thing where they'll tell you to um, say thank you, like, and subscribe. And I'm like, if they want to subscribe, they can. I don't want anybody to subscribe unless they really want to be a part of this community. Because it doesn't mean anything if they are just hitting the subscribe button. You know what I mean? So that's why I never ask for it. But I do thank you for taking the time to like, to subscribe, and especially to comment. Because that's what I love the most. Thanks so much again to these wonderful people in my life that have uh, just enhanced my reading. Thank you to you. And let me know if you've read any of these books. Has anyone ever given you a special treasure of a book? Let me know that too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.